innocent in Italian is innocente. If you take the plural, it's innocenti. And now we are getting somewhere. Because this episode from Driving with Gloves is about the Italian car make Innocenti. And don't I look innocent myself? Hi, my name is Cor, and welcome to my channel, Driving with Gloves. I always drive with car gloves. Your question might be, why do I drive with gloves? And my answer is, why not? with the car industry you mostly drove the cars made in your country that's the reason why the Germans uh, drove German cars the Brits British cars and the Italian Italian cars well at least until the 1970s but there was an exception some clever businessmen started to build and license cars from other countries the internet wasn't there so the customer did not have a clue what was around in other markets Now I will show you two pictures of cars and you may guess where they were made. No you are wrong because the pictures I showed you were not the Austin Allegro or the Austin Mini Cooper. No these were Italian cars. Cars from the car brand Innocenti. And you must imagine that once the car make Innocenti was the second largest car manufacturer in Italy. It all started in the year 1931 when Ferdinando Innocenti started his company the Società Anonima Fratelli Innocenti in English the anonymous company of the Innocenti brothers in the little village Lambrate near Milan in Italy. Steel was their core business but when World War II started Ferdinando started to make war goods and arms. After World War II, Ferdinando restructured his company again and started to build a famous Italian scooter. And it was not Vespa, because they were made by Piaggio. No, they made Lambrettas. And they were called after the village Lambrate. Since the scooter production went so well, Innocenti started to think about producing also cars. But the development of cars is very expensive, so they decided to produce cars from Austin and afterwards from BMC in license. Innocenti didn't only build in license, no, they started to improve their cars. So the Innocenti cars were way better than the original cars. And you know the joke about why the Brits do like to drink warm beer? It was because Lucas also made refrigerators. And I can assure you, Italians do not like to drink warm beer. So they changed all the Lucas components. At a certain point, Innocenti wanted to build an Austin Sprite but only based on the Sprite, because everything else should be different and better. The Sprite was also known as Frog Eye or in the United States as Bug Eye, but Innocenti didn't want to make a car looking like a frog or a bug, so they contacted Ghia to make a complete new design. The design of the Spider was the first creation of the renowned American designer Tom Jarda and was introduced to the public in the year 1960. By the way, an Innocenti Spider is at the moment also for sale at Autofogel in Switzerland. 
there were many improvements made compared to the Sprite. One of the most obvious ones was to reach the boot from the outside. That was way more convenient than entering the luggage compartment from the inside of the car. Well, I hope you will never get a puncture with a Sprite. The body shells were made by Ozzy. In the meanwhile, Innocenti started to work on the idea of making a coupé. The design was made by Sergio Sartorelli. The technical components came from BMC. The coach was built like the Spider by Ozzy. And the electrical components were made by Magneti Marelli. Coupé is very rare because only a few hundred were built. It uses the same gauges for water temperature, oil pressure and fuel as the famous Ferraris like the 250 GTE, the 250 GTO and the California Spider. Other gauges like the speedometer were specially built for the Innocenti Coupé. The wheelbase of the coupé was extended compared to the Spider with 150 mm, so it had now a wheelbase of 2180 mm. It has a width of 1540 mm and a height of only 1150 mm. So my legs are even longer than the height of the car. The floor pan was lowered to create more cabin space. That's the reason why I can fit in this car. But let me show you the engine now. The Innocenti Coupe has a four-cylinder engine with a capacity of 1098cc and a power output of 58 PS at 5500 RPM and it has a torque of 84 Nm at 2700 RPM. It accelerates from 0 to 100 km an hour in 18.2 seconds. It weighs only 744 kg. It can do the standing kilometer in 38.2 seconds and it has a top speed of 145 kilometers an hour. So on paper, not an extraordinary quick car. So how is it to drive? Does it even make fun? And I can tell you, it makes fun. Italians 
from the 60s knew how to build cars. And listen to the sound. This engine sound is absolutely magnificent. You do not think that you are driving a car which has absolutely no power. This little Italian car amazes me because it has enormous space inside, although it's very, very low. I even have space for my long legs. I can drive like in a normal car. That's absolutely amazing. And the other thing I like, that it has not a huge amount of power, but you can still drive it very sporty and it feels really sporty. It is really a fun car. Yes, it is. And I'm still amazed about of the car. You can really, really throw it in the corners because it's so light, only 744 kilograms. So you can say that I'm driving today a very little, very fun Italian car, which is very rare too, because it was claimed that there were built 794 cars until 1968, but actually it's more likable that there were only built 487 cars until 1968. So I can say that I'm driving today a very small, very fun, very exclusive, very rare Italian driver's car thanks to Autofogel in Switzerland. And do not forget that this car is for sale and so is an Innocenti Spider. So I hope that you like this episode from Driving with Gloves. So please leave me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Driving with Gloves. Hope to see you soon in a new episode from Driving with Gloves. Thank you.